वेलकम लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन टू वर्चुअल सेट्रिक्स रेडी पार्टनर पेविलियन आई ब्रिंग यू येट अनदर वेरी एक्साइटिंग सेशन एंड दिस टाइम आई हैव अ वेरी क्लोज पार्टनर ऑफ सेट्रिक्स विद मी आइजल बिफोर वी गोइंग टू व्हाट डज आइजल आइजल डू एंड मोर डिटेल्स अबाउट आवर इंटीग्रेशन लेट मी ब्रिंग ऑन आवर गेस्ट फॉर द डे डैन डैन यू वांट टू टेल आवर ऑडियंस हु यू आर एंड व्हाट यू डू एट आइजल या सो हाय रूबल हाउ आर यू डैन ऑफ फेरल आई एम विद आइजल I'm responsible for the product marketing function within the company. And as Rubal mentioned, we are a very close technology partner with Citrix. In fact, uh you'll find our technology residing on endpoint devices uh in more within Citrix environments than any other uh around the globe. So, uh our technology works hand in glove with the Workspace app to provide a, a great user experience, but we'll dive into that a little bit later. But but thanks for uh inviting me Rubal and and welcome everyone. Absolutely. Thanks so much Dan. Uh you picked on a pretty important point there. Now with Citrix, we are helping deliver apps and desktops to our customers but i know operating system plays a pretty key role in helping us do that and that's where igel comes in can you delve a little deeper into igel's technology and its integration with citrix sure yeah so uh, and especially within healthcare right so um igel is an uh, offers an operating system so we are a software company and our operating system is called igel os and igel os uh works very very closely with the citrix workspace app to deliver apps and desktops to end users um uh we're very very good at what we call day one support so when the workspace app comes out with a new client release uh igel is very quick to support it which means your our cust- our joint customers always get the latest features uh any kind of security patches etc they can rest assured they'll have the latest functionality of Citrix with Agile OS. Um today we're talking about healthcare. That is our largest market within Agile. You'll find our software residing in hospitals, clinics, healthcare uh installations around the world. Uh and more often than not, you'll see our software working closely with the Citrix workspace app uh within healthcare environments. Awesome. Uh now let's delve a little bit deeper into what does it mean for a customer to be using a combination of Citrix and Agile OS so I want to start with you know what do you guys do for an end customer and then if if you if you may you want to talk about how does how does it make life simpler for an IT admin sure yeah so so for end customers and we're putting a lot of emphasis in our messaging this year on user experience both in terms of the IT team who has to maintain all these desktops these virtual desktops across an enterprise as well as the the end users themselves so in hospitals we're talking about clinicians nurses uh administrators in the admissions office uh people working in operations in the back office etc uh the goal with our software working with the workspace app is to give a great user experience to these end users who may oftentimes actually be accessing their virtual apps and desktops from home right because of the uh the uh pandemic obviously the people who have to be on staff are in the hospital they're in the healthcare facility the you know the people who are actually treating patients but a lot of people depending on the use case will oftentimes catch up at home or they'll they'll do what we call telemedicine which is to actually be able to work remotely So we we what we discovered in the last couple of years has been a bit of a subtle shift in emphasis to place more uh, importance on the user experience. Uh so you know we work with Citrix to support all the latest unified communications packages like uh you know Teams and WebEx and Zoom etc. Um and the other thing that we do with Citrix is we provide uh, actually great performance. Uh, especially if you're replacing windows on the endpoint because Agile OS is so lean and so efficient you'll actually get better CPU utilization which means your collection of apps that you're accessing will run better then for the IT team uh, a, a real hallmark of our offering at Agile is the ease of management our universal management suite which is the software that manages all these endpoints and there may be thousands across a hospital system uh makes it super easy for the IT team to 
download the software, to update the software, to distribute patches. Uh, so it's almost basically a, a, an invisible background process. So you don't get the kind of disruption and costs associated with things like, you know, Windows updates, etc. So our goal from a user experience is to make it super easy for both the end users within healthcare as well as that IT team that's managing all those people, all those people and their devices. All right, Dan, tell me one more thing. Uh, now, you mentioned that IGEL is a, is a software company and, you know, you have IGEL OS. What sort of devices is your OS dependent on? Do I need, uh, you know, high computing devices or can I use, you know, a thin down, uh, thin client or what is your dependency on that? Yeah, you know, the only dependency uh, is that it be an x86 64-bit device with at least a one gigahertz processor and two gigabytes of RAM. That's kind of the minimal configuration. Now, if someone is like a power user uh, doing all kinds of CAD CAM uh, and stuff like that, you might want to up the local resources. But what we've discovered and what our customers have discovered is that they can use existing laptops, existing desktops or thin clients uh, from the likes of Dell or HP or Lenovo or, or choose your vendor uh, because they're very, very cost effective, very efficient, low power, very compact. You'll see them a lot in urgent care centers and in hospital uh, patient rooms. But uh, the only restriction is really it's just got to be an x86-64 device with a gigahertz processor, two gigabytes of RAM. And, and, and a lot of our hospital customers have discovered that they can keep using existing equipment. So when they purchase IGEL OS, they do not have to go out and buy new high-powered uh, you know, endpoints. Uh, they can use their existing devices for years afterward, which allows them to pass the bypass the, the kind of hardware refresh cycle, which is both very expensive and disruptive. All right, that's awesome. So if I'm hearing you right, if I have an old laptop lying around which I've not been using, I can just, uh, you know, drop the Agile OS on that and I'm good to go with delivering applications and desktops via Citrix? Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, if you have another PC at home, uh, you might want to, if you want to use that, you can load Agile OS onto that or use a pluggable, uh, USB pluggable device called the UD Pocket, which essentially you boot from. So you can actually bring your workspace, your healthcare apps, right? And everything you're used to accessing in the hospital home with you and access it not only on just your work PC or thin client, but also on a home device, as long as it's got, you know, the, the minimal uh, resource requirements on it. So that, that turned out to be re really useful, especially at the start of the pandemic when many people had to quickly rush home uh, uh, as they had to leave their facilities. That sounds super cool. Can you talk a little bit more about what is this UD Pocket? Yeah. So the UD Pocket is essentially, uh, it looks like a little memory stick. It's a little bit shorter than a memory stick. It's about the size of a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. And it is basically iGel OS on a stick. So your IT team does some initial configuration on it. It hands it to you. You go home and you can pop it into any laptop in your house. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you pop it into your laptop, as the and you reboot the device, you direct it to reboot, reboot from USB. And once it comes up, it is your workspace. It is exactly what you would have on your work device. And what's nice is that at no point in time does iGel OS coexist with Windows or whatever you have running on that. It's completely sequestered apart from it, which means you're in your workspace and nothing else. And then when you power down the system or end your session, you unplug this UD pocket and your home device immediately reverts back to its native environment. But again, as I said, at no two time do the two environments coexist. And when the UD pocket's in there, all of your, you know, your saves and all your files, those are in the cloud. So at no time does any of your work material coexist on that device with your home stuff. So it, it turns out to be a really great way to have full management and control of your end users while they have the liberty to work from anywhere uh, on, on their device of choice. Well, that sounds awesome. So what you're essentially saying is I can carry my profile and in a way my computer in a small pen drive that I can put in my pocket? 
Yeah, yeah, or on your uh, on your keychain, <laughs> so you don't <laughs> lose it. But yeah, yeah, you basically can take your digital workspace with you wherever you are. Yeah, awesome. in your pocket. That, that's great. That's great. I'm sold on that. Uh, let's delve a little bit deeper into uh, healthcare IT, Dan, if we, if you may. Uh, so imagine I'm an IT admin sitting at a large hospital, managing hundreds and hundreds of uh, users that are uh, sort of moving from location to location, from one room to, to, to other, other room. And these could be doctors, clinicians, administrators. How sure. do you make life simpler for me as an IT admin? Sure. So we have um, a couple of ways that we do that. One obvious way, because it's so prominent within healthcare, is, uh, you know, Improvata is one of our iGel ready partners, as obviously uh, Citrix is. And what that means is that the technology is integrated into the operating system and then verified through a, a, a test suite uh, that gives you iGel ready status. So certainly with the tap and go capability that you have where your, your desktop essentially follows you with access to all the healthcare records, et cetera, uh, maintaining, uh, you know, uh, confidentiality for your patients. Uh, that's one way that we make life easy for the end users. The other way is we have a capability on the on Agile OS called shared workplace. And this mm -hmm. is for people who use, who share devices. Uh, you know, people usually think of call centers, uh, university labs, but in hospitals, that's very common too. Certainly in the US, if you walk into a hospital and you go up into a wing or a floor, you'll see a, an area where nurses are collecting and clinicians collect and they'll use common equipment um, or an urgent care. There's like a thin client that multiple people will access. With shared workplace, when someone logs onto that device, their profile immediately takes over and their permissions are applied to that session and their preferences, like the, the way the screen looks, et cetera. So your profile follows you as well. So with the shared workplace and that, that maps back to Active Directory to make sure that uh, it's a seamless process of assigning those profiles and permissions. Uh, the other thing that makes life easier is the efficiency of Agile OS, right? Since Agile OS is so less taxing on the CPU, it means that the computers on wheels, which you'll see all the time in hospitals that get moved from room to room, uh, those are relying on a battery that sits at the bottom of the computer on wheels rack. Agile OS is so efficient that those computers on wheels, whether it's a thin client or a laptop, run much, much longer, up to 5x longer between recharges. And that's good for the hospital, it's good for the end users, it's good for the patients, because it means you have these computers on wheels spending much less time out of service being recharged. So those are just a few of the examples of, uh, of how we ha actually help the end users. That's amazing. So if I've got that right, easy management, Seamless, seamless movement for end users, as well as security. So you're basically covering all the bases there. Yeah, on the security aspect, obviously um, it's a lightweight OS. Uh, it's modular, so you only have the features running on the device that are needed. It's a read-only file system, so it can't be tampered with. And it includes something that we call the chain of trust, which is a cryptographic signature sequence verification whenever you restart or power up an, an endpoint which verifies that nothing has been tampered with since the last time it was used. So people can power up devices or reset them with full confidence, knowing that uh, nothing you know, uh, has happened to the device. No one's tampered with anything uh, since the last time it was used. So yeah, just by nature, right? These types of devices are very secure. Um, they, they don't offer much of an attack surface. Even if someone hacked into one, they wouldn't, it wouldn't provide much benefit to them. Because again, all the data right in the apps are running in the data center of the cloud. Awesome. That's just great, Dan. All right, Dan, one final question. I know there are several players in the market who are doing this. How does iGel stand out among competition? So I think um, uh, a couple things. The fact that we are completely hardware independent. So the software will run, you know, we, we've got our software running on HP, Dell, Lenovo. Um, you know, LG, uh, you know, with their all-in-ones, which are very hot, popular in healthcare. So I think it's the fact that we don't care what brand is on the device. And in fact, we, we can offer thin clients. We have very nice hardware ourselves. 
if you want to complete the solution with with iGel. But the fact is, it's, it's software independent, hardware independent, I'm sorry, it runs on any hardware. Uh, the ease of management uh, tends to emerge as a big differentiator. And we just invite people to get your hands on it, test it out, experience it for yourself. Uh, the management system, the scalability, um, it, we can support from a single console hundreds of thousands of endpoints, which you don't typically find within a hospital system. And then um, I think it's the security as well with the chain of trust and the modularity and the read-only file system. Uh, you know, uh, so you combine all that together, the ease of use, the power, the, the performance, the security uh, tends to uh, differentiate us when you compare us to other other providers in this type of technology. Awesome. Dan, you know what you've done in this last 10 minutes? You've really piqued my interest about IGEL OS, and I'm sure our audience is interested as well now. If they want to find out more about IGEL, where do you want to send them? Um, well, one other final word is that, you know, the operating system is very mature. It's been running for, for, for many, 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 many years, supported by, you know, a, a larger company with all kinds of resource. Uh, but later in the year, people are going to start to hear about something called OS 12, which we, we think is kind of a future proofing for the multi-cloud world. So uh, a lot of cloud-based services, a, lo a lot, even more automation in terms of things like onboarding. Uh, even greater, you know, kind of security across multiple clouds. But uh, to get more information about Agile OS, just go to IgileOS.com uh, to the website. You'll see all kinds of, you know, assets and videos and information on the technology. But we're, we're more interested in the solutions working with people like Citrix, right? Because what customers really care about is how do we make life easier for the end user? And for IT, who's our primary kind of target who we talk to, how do we make life easier for them? So uh, we think uh, we achieve both with, with our software and we'll continue to do so as we move forward. Awesome. Thanks so much, Dan. This has been amazing. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. And thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for taking the time to watch this session. Uh, this is Rubala Balia signing off for now, but see you on the other side of the session. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Dan. Yep. Bye-bye.